And we are getting these headlines out of the news conference happening right now. This is French President Francois Hollande. He is saying that the man who was shot and captured just a few hours ago, Salal Abdesalam, captured in Molenbeek, which is a suburb of Belgium, was involved directly in preparing the Paris attacks. France will. France will ask for extradition of Abdesalam. And we should also tell you, François Hollande is saying that the French know there are links between the Paris attackers and Syria and ISIS. They have direct evidence. At least that is what François Hollande is saying. They want him back in Paris to answer for the 130 people who were murdered back in November in three separate attacks. Now, you see these shooters here, these police. They have in their possession for Europe's most wanted man who led the specific team, guy right there, he apparently led the specific team that uh, tried to enter the French National Soccer Stadium. Let's bring in Zudi Jasser. He's founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. They want him bad. They want him back in France. Right, Zudi? Oh, absolutely. And this is major, not only because uh, they're bringing some closure to this fugitive, but they got him alive. The intel that this individual can give into how he traversed uh, supposedly the security process that uh, travels to and from Syria, to and from France, to Belgium, uh, the fact that his uh, two brothers were also involved, uh, one was released. This individual, Salah, was released, by the way, before they knew that he was uh, uh, part of the operation. So um, he is, uh, you know, his brother was one of those that committed part one of the suicide acts. They think that he had a suicide belt but changed his mind and then went uh, uh, back to Belgium and has been hiding. And I think one of the other things is not only the intel for the, the, the terror acts themselves that killed 130, but since he's been in hiding, a community that has been shielding him, yes. they've, they've raided hundreds of houses, and it took quite a bit of intel until they found him. And the, the fact that towns like Molenbeek can basically shelter many of these uh, uh, radicals is something that they'll need yeah. to unravel. Zudi, thank you. Zudi Jasser. And we should mention that it was Tuesday that all of that police work paid off. They found a fingerprint. They planned the raid. They had Belgium and French raids. Officers moving in. They apparently might still be looking for one other suspect, but they have success at this hour. President Obama has already called the Belgian Prime Minister, Charles Michael, to congratulate him. Closing.